see a smoke, then you know there is fire somewhere. When the cock crow, then you know it's almost done. When the rainbow appear, you know the rain is going to stop. With that, I say good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on where you are and when I'm able to upload this video. This is Ini TV. We are global and social commentators. Remember, all we do here is preach Peter Obi. All we do here is preach good governance. And that is why I will say we are for the Labour Party. We are for Sir Peter Gregory Obi. We are for the Obi Dati movement. We are Obi centric. Today, the cock has crowed. And we are very close. We are very close to victory. Peter Obi is close to victory. So if it's the first time you're coming across this channel, we'll ask you to please subscribe to this channel. After you subscribe, just press the notification bell button so that each time we upload video, it comes directly to you. You won't bother searching. And we also indulge you to please like and comments. Your comment means a lot to us. Remember, life is a two-way traffic. One cannot know it all. And that's why we say we want to share your point of view too. And now for our returning subscribers, we say thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for being there. Thank you for being a wonderful part of this family. Bravo! The victory is almost at hand. Why do we say so? Neck. Neck is confused. Neck is drunk. Neck is talking with both sides of his mouth. If Neck was a human being, he is that kind of a man, you will say, he is the most stupid person on earth. Because... That human being does not know his left from right. And that is exactly what NEC as an institution is. NEC, Independent National Electoral Commission, cannot reconcile its own figures, its own number. There are disparities. They cannot reconcile the numbers. They are confused. When they could not upload the polling agent will come together and say, in this polling unit, we got this, and they have been signed. And whatever they have signed is being given to the coalition officer who now coalited. So there is differences. Neck cannot tell why. In the notebook of the coalition's officer, the differences is so much than what they have in the air. Uh, R-O-E-V-S. That is a big problem. And that is beginning to make the judges suspicious that something is wrong. If you cannot, if you cannot tell us the numbers you said you have, then one of these two is wrong. Is either the numbers you have with the correlation officers or what you have in your server, one of them is wrong. So, INEC is in a big trouble. Another thing, there is a movement now. There is a movement for Aztec, 25% Abuja. Hashtag 25% Abuja. APC, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, did not did not get 25% in Abuja. And they came out then and said that the constitution says Abuja was not a must. That was what APC was saying. When many of us watch our video that we make from three months back, we talked about 25% of Abuja is very important. APC came out and said, no, 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 it's not, it's not important. And now NEC is saying that APC got 25% in Abuja. How? Where is the 25% that APC got in Abuja? If 
Labour Party got close to 60 percent. 60 percent. Then PDP got, I think, 26 or 27 or thereabouts. So close to 60 plus 27. What is left? It's not up to 25. Let's say 60. Then 20. That's 80. And plus the 7. 87. And what is left here? It's like 13. And there about. But don't forget, Labour did not get up to 60. I think it was 50 something. So there was no way APC could have gotten more than 16% from Abuja, because if Labour got close to 60, 50 something or thereabout, then PDP, what is left is not up to 25. So how? Neck is like confused. And, and one thing that I'm happy about, the judges are intellectuals. They are men who are learned. You cannot just come and say, yes, they got, APC got 25% in Abuja. That was why we declared them as the winner and gave them the, this is something that has hooked INEC and they cannot escape this. And this has led a lot of people, a lot of people have come out and said that there is a bishop or Neoko, he came out and said that the judge should please stop the swearing in until the case has been decided. And that is logical. And a lot of people are buying for that point of view. A lot of people are buying into that idea that the Judiciary must finish its job before this man is sworn in. And many have opted that it should leave the tribunal. The case should just leave the tribunal and go straight to the Supreme Court, where they will talk about the constitutional effect of the whole thing. Why Bola Ahmed Tunubu cannot be sworn in? Because he did not meet the constitution. He did not meet the 25% of Abuja. Another thing, he swore an affidavit in his registration form for INEC that he has no other nationality. And that's a very big crime. That is a very big crime. So all this has constitutionally worked against Bola Ahmed Tinubu. So, but what Bola Ahmed Tinubu knew, he knew he is in trouble, and that is what he has sponsored the likes of what's his name again? A Papa Lamidi to disrupt labor, to disturb them so that he will be quickly be sworn in. Remember, Dati said this thing in China that please don't swore this man in because you will be killing democracy. You'll be going against the constitution. And what did APC? And their cohort did. They came strong against China. Gave them, I think, five million. So, if you look at the whole thing, people are beginning to see reason why Bola Amentinibu should not be sworn in until the court case is over. And we, knowing fully well, knowing fully well that Peter Obi has a very good case and Bola Amentinibu has a very, very bad case. So that's a plus. And what is Lamidi a papa doing? Lamidi a papa this week went to Bauchi. He organized some strange people that he called neck, that they were neck of labor. But why he was organizing this in Bauchi, the real neck of labor was in Abuja was in Abuja with the comrade Abure meeting. Then who are those that is following Apapa Lamidi Aura? These are people like 
Oba Ye Yemi or Ola Babi, who we know is like a spoke person. And he has said that they are ready. They are ready to fight the case with the real Labour Party. And this has showed one thing, that the faction of Apapa Lamidi is all out to disrupt this case, to make sure that there is delay in this case. But thank God, a lot of people, like we said before, are speaking out. People like our passenger spoke and they said that it's better that this case is decided before the swearing in. And we are fully aware that Peter will be in this case hold all the four A's. And that is why we are making this video. And we are singing, telling obedience, the victory is near. The cock has grown, so dawn is near. So if it's the first time you're coming across this video, this is TV. We are global and social commentator. We we'll ask you to please subscribe to this channel. After you subscribe, just press the notification bell button so that each time we upload video, it comes directly to you. And don't forget to like and comment. We want to hear your opinion too. And for our returning subscribers, we say thank you, thank you, thank you. We love you, but God love you most. As it is the culture in this channel, we will catch you when we make the next video. Until then, we we'll say, chooks, adios, au revoir, ciao, hasta la vista. Thank you.